Expect the pressure to get out and vote early to get even more intense now that the U.S. Supreme Court has cleared the way for three additional days of voting before Election Day in Ohio. Nine News reporter Bill Price gives us a glimpse of what that will mean for you and your neighbors. We asked some Avondale pastors what difference having voting on the weekend before Election Day would make, and they brought out a crowd. They say these are just some of the people working with their churches to bring souls to the polls on the Sunday before Election Day. We want to get everyone out to vote. Too many people have died for this right. We want to go forth, Republican, Democrat, Independent. Voting is now available for everybody. This group hopes to see at least the kinds of crowds we saw on the first day of voting at places like the Hamilton County Board of Elections. This all after the U.S. Supreme Court refused to rule on early voting in Ohio. So voting in Ohio will now be allowed on Saturday morning, Sunday afternoon, and Monday morning before Election Day. Tri-state Republican leaders don't like the court's decision, though. This is unprecedented federal judicial intervention in Ohio election law. Uh, we're disappointed that, you know, the Obama campaign sued the state of Ohio in this matter. But at this point, we're ready to move forward. Tri-state Democrats say faith groups won't be the only ones urging voters to use those extra early voting days. Absolutely, we will be ready. Um, our folks were hoping that this was going to be the case. County election boards throughout southwest Ohio say they'll be ready for that last voting weekend. Bill Price, 9 News.